New information coming in tonight into the newsroom regarding Freddie Grant, the man charged with killing Adriana Laster. Laster was from Elgin and had been missing for 12 years before her remains were found on January 12th at a sand pit off of, Highway, off of Ch Highway Church Road in the northeast part of Richland County. Yeah, News 19's Walker Lawson has been working on this story for months and now has obtained the arrest warrant that give us a better look into the relationship of these two. Walker. Late this afternoon, we obtained Freddie Grant's arrest warrants. These were just recently served to him at the county jail in the death of Adriana Laster. Amongst the charges are kidnapping and murder. In the newly obtained warrant for murder, it states there are statements of witnesses who said they saw the violence committed against Laster, including them hearing Laster say Grant told her he was going to kill her. He was also charged with kidnapping Laster in June of 2011, three months before she went missing. The warrant states he forced her into his vehicle, punched her in the back of the head, causing her to lose consciousness. It states he then drove them away from their residence where she regained consciousness and tried to escape. Grant was taken from prison in the Low Country to the Kershaw County Detention Center on January 30th, 2024. After receiving those charges, he was transported back to prison. Sheriff Lee on lot says Richland County is assisting Elgin police in any way possible. Again, the evidence that we had that uh, in the Gabby's case you know, is almost exactly what the evidence is with this case here because of how he buried her, the location, just all of that kind of fits in the same and that goes that goes into proving his guilt. So, you know, we're going to still continue to work with them. The Fifth Circuit Solicitor's Office says a court date for Grant has not yet been determined. Lot says there's no rush. No hurry. He's not going anywhere. I mean, so it will work its way through the system. Uh, it'll be presented um, at a preliminary hearing, then be uh, indicted by the grand jury, and then it'll be placed on the docket by the solicitor's office. And there's a lot of other murder cases um, before that one. So. It's kind of the slifter at that point. So there's really no timetable. Again, one of the, I guess the beauties of it is he's not going anywhere. We know where he's at. Coroner's office has confirmed that the search for her remains has concluded. Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.